Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm Gebo the Shaman, and today we are talking about what happens when we have the moon placed in the third house in our birth chart. So before we get into that, I'd just like to let you guys know that I am a Vedic Astrologer. I do Vedic Astrology readings, and um, in my experience, those have been more accurate than Western Astrology, so, you know, check them out. Um, go to GebbleTheShaman.com and check me out. I have a bunch of things to offer there, so all the stuff that you see here is pretty much all on sale right here, so check it out. Alright, so let's get into uh, Moon in the Third House. So, um, in order to understand this placement better, we need to understand what the moon means, and then we'll talk about what the third house means, and put them together, and Bob's your uncle, <laughs> create, uh, you know, our own analysis for, from it, so, um, so then we have, so we have moon, so what is the moon? The moon is um, our meditative mind. It's our our heart mind. It's our you know a lot of people you know uh, this is why I hesitate to to say the word mind that the moon represents the mind because a lot of people in Western society refer, uh, associate the mind with being the intellect. You know, we'll say he's got a sharp mind. Um, meaning that he has a, a strong intellect. Um, yeah. So, in Vedic astrology, when we talk about the moon being the mind, we are talking about the heart mind, the uh, consciousness, the our meditative mind, being very conscious, very... Um, you know, in like aware of our emotions, emotionally aware, emotionally attuned, things like that. So, so then we have. So, the moon also represents. So it represents our heart mind. It represents our emotions. Our um. You know, the our thoughts versus our emotions. Well, our it's it's all pretty much you know the same. It's it's different, but it's similar. So, uh, like ideas. So, for example, ideas. If we have ideas, that's the intellect. That's the that's the, uh, you know, the intellect, that's, you know, that stuff. But if we have thoughts and feelings, um, that comes from the heart mind. So that's, that's kind of the difference there. Um, and so, um, so we have the mind and the moon represents the heart mind and, and so, Um, so it, you know, um, it also represents our emotions, so it represents, uh, the moon is a very watery planet, it's, um, you know, it's always changing, the moon is always changing, it's, you know, it goes from waxing to full, and then it'll, you know, come and wane to a new moon. So, it gets bigger, and it gets smaller, and things like that. And what does the, the moon do to our tides? It also, it raises the tides, it lowers the tides, so it's a very watery, very emotional planet, very uh, nurturing, very loving, very motherly energy, so wherever the moon is, that's your relationship with your mother. So, um, you know, you'll also see, you, you'll also need to see where the sign of cancer is, but where the moon is, that, 
represents your relationship with your mother too. So then we have, um, let's see. So then we have this in the third house. So, you know, the third house is all about communication. Third house is about siblings. It's about, um, you know, friendly communication. It's ruled, it's uh, traditionally the, you know, Gemini would be the third, ha third, the third sign rolling the third house. Um, so Gemini energy, think of the, how the third house as Gemini energy. And, um, you know, it's, um, it can, it's kind of, you know, it's, it's siblings, it's, um, fun energy, it's, like, creativity, it's courage, it's passion, um, things like that. So, yeah, third house can represent, um, mainly your siblings and stuff like that. So it's, it's a very fun, very communicative, very friendly, interpersonal placement. So, you know, this is, this is your communication style kind of thing. So when you have the moon in the third house, that means that you will be very communicate very emotional in your communications, very, you know, heart-centered in your, in your communications, like, um, so, talking with friends and things like that, also, uh, like, that'll, that'll all be, you know, based on emotion, based on that, heart-centered connectiveness um you know a lot of people can can kind of talk with people and and converse on just very basic very superficial uh things you know the weather the whatever's going on in pop culture uh bullshit like that <laughs> um uh Whereas, if you had this placement, it would be like, how are you feeling, you know, how, like, it would be more, like, based in the heart center, so, this is what the moon is calling you to do, so if you're not already doing this, this is what the moon wants you to do. It wants you to communicate with others in a heart centered way, it wants you to communicate in a loving, compassionate way, um, being concerned and being caring and being loving about, you know, the, the needs of others, the other people in your life. And so communication, communicating about that, talking about that, um, you know, it's, um, so, it's really important because, like, you know, if, if we can't communicate about, about our emotions, then that's, that's not, uh, that's not good, you know, so, anyway, um, let's see, so it's kind of, um, you know, the, that's important, so, what else can I say about this placement? So, um, let's see here. Oh yeah, so therapy. So, you know, if you have this placement, um, that means that you can be, like if you're not already good at communicating your feelings, uh, that means that you can become that. You can become really good at it. So, um, and it's also very healing and very helpful for you to do that, to, because if we, I find that the stuff that remains in the shadows, the stuff that we're afraid to talk about, the stuff that, 
you know, we can't tell anybody about or, you know, the stuff that we're, we're too afraid to face in ourselves. That's the stuff that persists in our lives. That's the, you know, the stuff that continues to grow. Um, you know, bacteria can only grow in the, in the darkness. The, min the minute that you shine light on it, it, it dies. And it, you know, it, uh, so, so the, uh, the point is, you know, shining light on your, on your emotional issues. And so, you know, this placement also represents your relationship with your mother. So this means that your mother would be very, um, communicative, but also very mercurial in her nature. So being like joking and being a trickster kind of thing like stuff like that um you know wanting to play with you wanting to um you know just be very jovial and uh you know up upbeat and things like that uh so that that could be good um in your chart so yeah, um, this also means that your emotions can change very quickly. So, like I said, the moon is a very change changeable planet. Um, it's very changeable. It's very, it's always, you know, in flux. It's always in change. It's always moving. So, with Gemini here, or with uh, the third house, the third house is a very active house too, so that means that it gives more more energy to like a quick mind, you know, a, so you'll have a quick mind, you'll be very quick, uh, that also means that your, your thinking can be very fast and your, um, you, you can change emotions very quickly. So there's that. Um, so yeah, uh, anything else I have to add on this? I don't think so. So I think that's pretty much it, guys. Um, so let me check the time. Yep, and we're good. <laughs> I, I always, uh, you know, I'm noticing that I'm going up over time for these uh, moon videos, but Anyway, um, so yeah, so, um, you know, great way to support the channel is to, you know, go ahead and like and subscribe, it's free, uh, if you like these videos, then go ahead and give it a like, um, if you want to see more content like this, then please subscribe, and, um, so we have massive bundle sales going on right now, uh, on courses, uh, you know, you can check out all my products, services, courses, everything that I have to offer is at gevotheshaman.com. Check that out. Alright, and then we have the service list over here. Services and courses and all that stuff. So we have the Vedic Astrology Certification course uh, available and um, that is basically that is a turnkey business so the minute that you uh, take your exam and you pass it then I will give you your own uh, website your own astrology website and it's very um, easy for you to get payments and get you know everything set up and all that uh, and not only that I will promote you on the channel so you can actually have your own um, business that gets promoted here. So that'll drive your clients and stuff like that. So then we have the Vedic Astrology readings. So if you want, I have the, my, the, the key reading that I do, the, the fundamental 
reading that I do, and then if you want to add to that, if you want me to focus on your career, or on your relationships, and things like that, you know, um, those options are also available there. Alright, so, then we have birth time rectification, so, the birth time rectification is great if you don't know your exact birth time down to the minute, and a lot of times, you know, um, the hospital staff can be off um, by a few minutes because, you know, their, their main objective is not to write down your exact time of birth, it's to make sure that you're healthy and that your mom is healthy and all that good stuff, so that's kind of one of the things that they, that they do, you know, last minute kind of stuff. So in order to find your birth time, then I, I do the birth time rectification where I ask you some basic questions and find out your exact birth time down to the minute and I do ensure that I de get it down to the minute because a lot of astrologers will say like oh it's within it's within this 10 minute time frame or this 5 minute time frame uh, but that's not accurate uh, you know, it needs to be within a minute because your chart can change so quickly. Um, and then we offer the distance energy healing. So if you're struggling with, you know, depression, things like that, that's great for that. Um, then we have the career coaching and life coaching. So if you're one of those people who is straggling and struggling and not sure about your, you know, path and purpose in this life. You're just sitting on the couch eating Doritos or whatever the hell. You need to get off your butt and you need to start living your mission. So life gets a lot more, a lot better when you have a, a purpose. So get on that. Alright, that's what the career coaching is for and the life coaching is for. So. Then we have the Ritual Magic Courses, you can check those out, and then we have the Cosmic Qigong and the Self Transformation Challenge, so those are great for building the energy in the body, for actually if you want to achieve that, uh, you know, enlightenment, um, spiritual growth, spiritual evolution, start doing this stuff. That really helps, that really, you know, my experience is I can't do it without this stuff, so that's why I use that, and it's a very powerful uh, system that I use, so check it out. Alright, so once again, all my courses, products, services available, bundle sales, massive sales going on right now, GebbaTheShaman.com, check that out, and we will talk to you next time. Peace.